Hello everyone. I want to talk to you today about goal setting for longevity in jiu-jitsu. Now, take this with a grain of salt. I am not a, uh, a self-help guru. I'm just a guy who's gone through the experience uh, for the last 20, I'll be going on 25 years now through jiu-jitsu. I started when I was 20 years old. And um, yeah, so I want to share with you what worked for me and it may help you, okay? Um, I think a lot of people that come into the art, they have uh, these lofty ideas of, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a black belt in this amount of time and this, that sort of thing. Um, be careful with, 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 I'm not saying that that's a bad thing at all, it's a great thing. But when you're talking about goals and reaching a very, very high goal, and black belt is a very high goal, it takes a long time and a lot of dedication to get to that point. I think it's important to make sure that you set smaller achievable goals okay that you can make and stay and it helps keep you motivated to keep going okay to reach that top level um, and I don't know if it's anecdotal or, or whatever but uh, every person that's come in and said oh man right out of the gate like I want to be a black belt in 10 years I don't remember any of them getting to blue belt and uh, I don't know if that's just a you know just been my experience uh, it's not to, to say that that can't happen, but I think what's very important is making sure that you set smaller goals for you. And understand, why is it that you want that black belt? Is it the belt itself? Because you could buy one on the internet. What is it that you want uh, from that belt, right? Do you want the recognition of being a black belt? Or do you want the skill of being a black belt? And that's an important thing to, to determine. When I got into the art, um, I was not very uh, good at all. But I trusted that it would work if I if I if I listened to my instructors, if I trained, um, and day by day I got a little bit better, a little bit better, that I would achieve my goals. And my goals were effectiveness. I wanted to be good at jujitsu. I wanted to learn how to defend myself. And I knew that process would take some time. So I had to be realistic with my goals. When I first started, I was not very good. Um, you know, I got beat by everybody in the class, as you can imagine. Uh, it was very humbling. But I was also very ecstatic about doing it because I'm learning all this stuff. And man, everything new that came along was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's That's so amazing. That's, that's simple. I learned my first arm. I'm like, that's crazy. Show me that again. And uh, so the uh, desire at the beginning was learning all these different things. And then, of course, at, at some point, you have to start making sure that you can implement them. And for me, uh, at the beginning, it was drilled into our heads that survival was uh, was the main objective in, in the fight. And so that's that's kind of what I focused on. Everybody would say, you know, Elu, Elu would have this, this, uh, this saying that basically that if you survive, you win. And so I had to hang my hat on that at first. So when I first started, um, I couldn't survive five minutes with the guys in the class, um, but I would get submitted four, five, sometimes five, six times, depending on who I was training with. And so at first, my very first goal, it wasn't, um, to beat those guys, it was to start, you know, closing the gap a little bit. And, um, and that's how I would rate my progress. So if he caught me five times at first, you know, okay, next time, okay, oh, he's going to go, only going to catch me four times this time, right? And I may achieve that goal, I may not, but then it was shaved down, okay, he's only going to catch me three times, and then two times, and then, okay, he's only going to catch me once. And then, um, you know, each time I had set that goal and I reached it, I felt like I won, right? I'm getting better, I'm improving, and I could see that improvement. Um, and then eventually it became, okay, you know, if the clock was set for five, 10 minutes, whatever, I just wanna survive this guy. I just wanna, I just wanna go five, six minutes, whatever the, the time was, and not get submitted. I, if, I, if I didn't get submitted, I felt like I won. Even if the guy was competition, he would have outscored me 20 points, I didn't care. I felt like, man, I won today. I walked out. I felt he couldn't beat me. And I think that was the first big milestone for me, was being able to survive. That's the first main objective of jiu-jitsu, is surviving. Being able to survive the fight, right? So there it was. My hand rang's terrible. I'm sorry if you can see that. Survival. That's what I focused on first. But eventually, I started getting better at jiu-jitsu. And I'm kind of drawing my circle of, of jiu-jitsu uh, life and and uh, goal setting here. Once I started getting better and better, and I survived longer, I realized, you know, that my training partners would have to fight harder to pass my guard, and I would do better regarding and getting back to it. 
Um, and little by little, I'd get better and, and they'd fight harder to pass the guard, they'd make a mistake. And then I'd see that arm lock that we worked on in class that we drilled over and over. And boom, I'd be able to hit it. And now, wow, okay, I can catch that guy, right? And it's never a competition, obviously, with my, with my training partners, but that's, that's a little bit how I was gauging my, my effectiveness, was how I was doing in the room. Some guys would surpass me, and that was okay. Um, and, you know, sometimes I would, I would go past them a little bit in, in effectiveness. But that's how I was rating my, my success or my, my ability to improve in jiu-jitsu. And so that was the next thing for me, you know, coming around. Now I was focused on effectiveness. And so I spent a lot of my, you know, like blue belt, purple belt, all the way up into black belt years focusing on effectiveness. I liked competing a lot. I was, you know, and of course, it's an easy way to find out if you're, if you're good is if you're competing and you're doing well. And um, so then I started really focusing on that. I wanted to be effective every single time. So jujitsu to be good, you have to be able to survive, but it's gotta be effective. Always with that survival mindset hanging above you. So then I started focusing, okay, so if I got good and I started training with my training partners and I caught him once the last time, I wanted to catch him twice this time, okay, and then maybe three times. Or maybe I wanted to focus on arm locks. That was my objective. I wanted to improve my arm locks. Maybe I wanted to improve my arm locks on my weak side or my triangles on my weak side. Cross chokes, something new. I wanted to add something new into the game. And so that's how I started gauging my effectiveness and how I was, I was improving. I never believed, I never, I, when I first started, I never thought that I could attain black belt. My, my, my initial goal was blue belt. And quite honestly, it wasn't because, you know, it was like that, you know, boom, you've, you've, you've gotten this, this, this grand achievement. Quite honestly, I just didn't want to be a white belt anymore. You know, I'm passionate about jujitsu. I'm doing it for like two years. People asking me, I'm talking about it. They're like, oh, what belt are you? Oh, my belt, you know. So in some ways, I, you know, I, I have to be honest that that was, that was part of the motivation of getting to blue belt. And I didn't even think purple belt was attainable for me. I mean, back then, I mean, you know, these purple belts were considered like professional level. I mean, I knew their names. They were, it was incredible. And um, so that was, the, that was the goal for a long time, was improving my effectiveness, right? Now, as I get older, my, my, my focus is starting to shift. Okay, I'm 44 years now, 44 years old now, um, and uh, quite honestly, my circle, continuing around my circle of jiu-jitsu life, uh, now my focus is very much on efficiency. Now, granted, all of these things are important principles in jiu-jitsu. Survival being number one, okay, and effectiveness is tied into that. But efficiency is always tied into that. So that was always part of the game, right? It was always part of it. Survival's always been there, okay? And effectiveness, of course. But I had to be efficient. And now that I'm getting older, I have to be even more efficient. I want to make sure that, um, that I'm staying safe, okay, with my, with my training partners. I'm not, I'm not injuring my body any more than, 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 uh, um, than necessary. Um, and I don't care necessarily if I catch the guy in five minutes. If I survive, great. Okay, if he's young, 20-some-year-old, you know, blue belt world champion, if I can survive that guy, great. All right, feel, feel like I won, you know. Um, but what's the goal? Is to improve yourself, to get better, little by little, okay. And uh, so efficiency was a big part of that, and it's, that's my main focus now, is being efficient. If the guy's mounted on top of me, I want him to expend more energy to attack me than I am in defending. Okay, same in all the negative positions that I, where I become comfortable in these positions. I don't have to fight really hard. When I was focused on effectiveness, I wanted to win tournaments. I wanted to escape really fast. And sometimes you're, you know, you're, 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 you're putting efficiency uh, in the survival mentality on the, on the side you know, just to be effective. And that may be necessary for competition, and that's okay. But long term, um, you know, if I get attacked in my 60s, right? I need to be efficient. I need to be very effective, uh, and I need to survive. Okay, but in order to do that, I have to be able to focus on my efficiency. Okay, so that's my big objective now. Now, when I, when I, my youngest daughter, when she turns 18, I'll be 63, and I still want to be able to play on the mats. And I need to be safe, and I need to be able to, to train in a smart way to stay healthy to get to that point. And um, 
So that efficiency part, part of that, the survival mentality starts to change as you get older, okay? Now you start thinking about preservation, you know? Making sure that you're staying safe when you're training, making sure you're, you're, you're you know, it's up to me in my room to make sure that I'm developing a healthy, um, a healthy mindset and a healthy uh, community where people have the right mindset and training um, to make sure that everybody stays as safe as possible. And uh, that's always tricky. It's always a very difficult thing when you're dealing with martial arts in, 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 in reality because what we're trying to do is be effective. And to do that, we have to go as close to that point of reality as possible. So let's say the fight is here and this is you sitting on the couch. We're delving somewhere in here, balancing the, in this, this realm where we've got to make sure that we're, we're training at a safe level but also reading, coming as close to reality as possible, okay? And that may change as I get older. Uh, we'll see, I'll let you know. I'll do another video in 20 years and let you know how it's going. But um, I'm gonna be able to play on the mats with my daughter, you know, uh, and, my, and my sons when they're in their 20s. And uh, I've, gotta be, I've gotta be smart about that. And uh, I think that's a very important thing. And so at some point, right, if I wanna continue uh, doing this martial art and training, and actually training, not just teaching, but being able to train, I may have to change my mentality, okay? My, my goals may change a little bit, okay? So maybe I get to a certain point, you'll see I'm coming full circle. At some point, it may be, ah, oh, my son, he's only gonna catch me once today, right? And I'll, maybe next time, ah, oh, he's only gonna catch me twice, right? Ah, oh, he's only gonna catch me three times today, right? Um, but, you know, I don't know how that's gonna work out, I'll let you know. Uh, he's not quite at that point yet, but um, but it'll come. You know, they keep training, and you know, of course, I'm you know training a bunch of killers here that're coming after me, and um, I want to make sure that I can stay safe in that whole process, but also be able to enjoy it. And if I I still st stuck back with that competition mindset of effectiveness, um, I don't know that it's going to keep me motivated. At some point, it's going to you know you, your body starts to to fail a little bit. Um, you're not going to be as fast. You're going to be as quick. Um, you know, strength is one of those things that holds on pretty well as long as you're, you're staying, you know, staying healthy and have a good diet and all that sort of thing and, and you know, working out uh, appropriately. Um, you can maintain your strength pretty well into your, your older years, uh, but things like your reflexes are going to slow. Um, and uh, it's, just, uh, it's, just, it's just, just reality. And I want to make sure that I can go through that in a healthy manner. But it starts with a very, very important and, 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 and humble mindset. And if you focus on that, if your ultimate goal is black belt, that's great. Set that on the shelf and make sure that it's there, but really focus on your day-to-day -day goals. Okay, what is your goal today? All right, maybe you're blue belt, right? And maybe you wanna work on your weaknesses. Great, work on them, right? Focus on that. And if you're having a hard time escaping side control, first, learn how to survive there, right? Be comfortable, be, be efficient, Right, and then wait for your right opportunity and then start working on your escapes. Then your escapes will get better. You'll get more and more comfortable in those positions, right? And uh, little by little, you keep training. You have healthy mindset as far as your goals are concerned. You'll reach that top goal, right? But stay safe through the whole journey. Have a healthy mindset. And uh, again, I'm no self-help guru. This has just been my own experience and what I think what my experience will be like in the future. Um, and uh, I hope it's helpful to you. And just keep training, keep, you know, yeah. Survival mindset, be effective uh, and be efficient. And we will see you soon.